I want to talk about my buddy McDonato. You're going to probably notice that he's from the New England area. He has a 12-year-old as his producer who's also on mic quite a bit. If it's a bit, it's brilliant. McDonato Show starts now. Hey there, folks. How you doing there? This is your friend, Mick Donato, with another episode of the Mick Donato Show. And, of course, I'm with my producer, Danny. Hi, I'm Danny, the other guy. Yeah, he's in the booth. Uh, he says the other guy, but he does a lot of great stuff, which we'll talk about uh, yeah. in a bit. But I just okay. want to know, before we get started, um, how was your week, you know, since the last show? What? Oh, oh really? You, you you did that? Well, that was pretty cool, but yeah, can I get a word in edgewise? Mick, yeah. yeah. Mick, What's we, that, Danny? We can't hear them. We're, <laughs> we're recording now. They are only watching after. I know. Uh, we can't hear them. Oh. This is not a live recording. <laughs> That's what we call in the business, Danny, a bit. So I know what a bit is. Anyways, um, plugs on the screen. And before we get started, uh, what do we always do, Danny? We give thanks. Thanks to the emergency responders. Emergency responders. They are fire. Fire. Hazmat. Hazmat. Law enforcement. Law enforcement. Narcotics. Narcotics. Keep that fentanyl off the street. Fentanyl. And, um, of course, the military. CIA. Well, military. the military first. Uh, Army. Coast, Navy. Army. Navy. Marines. Air Force. Air Coast Force. Guard. Marine. He gets them out of order, but Coast Guard includes you. It doesn't um, have to be the right order. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Um, of course, Border Patrol, right? Oh, yeah. Border Patrol. Build that wall. Keep those illegals where they belong. And I'll just say all the three-letter agencies. How's that? Mm-hmm. That's FBI, CIA, ATF, NBA, NFL, whatever. NFL. There's a bunch of them. <laughs> all right. Folks, uh, I want to get into this because next uh, week, when we record, we're going to start February. It, is it? Is, is February? It's spelled February, it but it's pronounced February. February? It's Fe- weird. Feb- uh, whatever it is. Uh, next week uh, is the first episode of the month, and we're kicking off uh, a really special month. We have a huge announcement coming up. Basically, uh, what we're going to do is uh, a big fundraiser for an important firefighter charity. Yay. Right now, we're going. To, we got the details coming up, so uh, stay tuned for that. We're working it out. We got the website setting up. We're setting up the whole, you know, the the financial thing. Um, but we'll announce it uh, next week. So stay tuned. It's going to be great. And here's the thing: we're going to have guests the whole month of February, February, whatever it is. We're going to be here. Danny's doing a great job as my talent booker. Uh, and by the way, folks. They're going to be some guests uh, you wouldn't expect. You know, uh, they're going to be some guests that you might say, ah, I can't believe they're on the Mick Donato show, but the fans. And I will say some might even be uh, famous. What? Yeah, what do you think of that, Danny? Uh-uh. Yeah. No, wink, wink. So we have a wink. great month coming. I cannot wait. It's going to be fantastic. And I can't give enough credit to Danny. Also my birthday. Yeah, your birthday is coming up. February. Yeah. We'll get to that. Next month. And you might say, Mick, why choose February? I, I can't stop saying February. I'm Whatever pretty it sure is, it's pronounced February. It's the shortest month of the year. Why choose that month to do your uh, y- your fundraiser campaign? So, well, if uh, there's less time, we don't have to donate as much. Well, I'll give you that. But here's the thing. 2020 is a leap year. Oh, no. Do you way. know that? That's epic. So, there's an extra day. Uh, this year. So one extra day. So you can donate. But stay tuned. It's going to be on uh, the website, Facebook, Twitter, all that. And I, I just can't wait, Danny. I, I'd like to start it now. But uh, we still have some, uh, you know, uh, T's to dot and I's to cross, as they say. Right, Danny? Yeah. What? All right. Okay. I'm also very excited uh, uh, today, folks. Uh, shifting gears a bit. As you know, I'm divorced, but my wife uh, 
ex-wife, I should say, Denise, she uh, texted me this morning. And we have a couple of kids, uh, Liam and Gavin, they're, they're, uh, Danny uh, and Andy, he's my cameraman, they're, they're age. She texted me this morning and uh, she wrote, hey, Mick, want to have coffee? So, you know what that means, Danny? Well, you might not know. You go out for coffee? Yeah. For grown-ups, Danny, coffee doesn't just mean coffee. So I don't know. Mm -hmm. So I wrote back, hey, uh, what does coffee mean, Denise? And uh haven't heard back. So oh, we'll see. That's, I don't know. Now, I'll admit I have uh, at times on the show uh, referred to her as an unholy demon spawn of a woman. but. I'm a believer people can change, right? And maybe she's had a change of heart and uh, wants to, I don't know, rekindle the old flame. Maybe. But I love my kids and uh, yeah, we'll see. I haven't heard back though, but I, I'm just excited about next month, about uh, yeah. the text from my ex-wife. Uh, lots going on. Chinese Lunar Year. Chinese Lunar Year. What's that about, Danny? Year of the Rat. Because, you You're know, the we rat. all love rats. It's kind of weird. You're the rat? Yeah. All right. Danny, you speak Chinese. A little. Can you say something in Chinese? No. No. You can't even say no in Chinese? <laughs> no. <laughs> all right. Apparently, you don't speak very well. Uh, that's pretty cool. Say it again, Danny. No. All right. By the way, uh, Danny uh, not only speaks fluent Mandarin, as you apparently I'm not can tell, fluent. he's he's okay. very talented. Uh, I wanted to show this. Uh, Danny uh, started to learn to play the piano, and you only started in October or something. It's pretty recent. November. And he had, November. He had a recital, uh, and he played uh, the piano at a local church. So I wanted to bring uh, play that clip. Danny, uh, bring it up there. Okay, th th folks, this is awesome. This is my producer, Danny. Uh, playing the piano recital. Check this out. It's not that great. <laughs> in in a second. I know what you're going to say. Uh, yeah, it's a kid's recital at a local church. How many weeks had you practiced that song, Danny? Um, Would you say like four weeks? Three? Three weeks. I don't know. I don't know how many weeks, but I know I only like, I've, I've been, t I was taking piano for like three months and I think for like half the time I was. By the way, what's the name of that, that song? Once uh, Upon a Time. Once Upon a Time. And what's that from? It's from a video game called Undertale. From a video game. That's pretty cool. I chose it. He chose a song of what he loves to do. And play. great job, Danny. Amazing job. Thanks. More to come as he continues his piano lessons. I just want to show how multi-talented my producer, talent booker, website editor, you name it, is. All right. I'm going to shift gears a bit, Danny, because I've got a show to do. I saw this article on Facebook, uh, I think it was last week, 
And you know we support uh, law enforcement, the police. Apparently, uh, there was a protest in New York City. And get this. Uh, They were protesting the NYPD, New York Police Department. And guess what happened? Uh, uh, let, let's just bring it. Bring up the uh, the uh, website there, Danny. Uh, yeah, it's loading. All right, loading. Ah, yeah, there it is. All right, uh, right there. Weenies. Weenies. Burn flag. They called them weenies to protest cops. <laughs> yeah, it's the New York Post. So what do you do? Uh, they get attacked by bikers. Need cops to save their asses. <laughs> it's the New York Post. So what are you gonna do? I have the article here, so I'm going to uh, read some of this, Danny. Uh, a group of flag-burning anti-NYPD uh, protesters needed New York's finest to save their skin from a gang of angry bikers who tried to pummel them <laughs> in a Brooklyn park for setting old glory ablaze on Wednesday. That's, I that's can't the American get flag, the right? Bag. They called them yeah. weenies. Uh, yeah, down that article. picture. That picture right there. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, the fiery stunt by a few dozen members of the group disarmed the police. So that's the group, disarmed the police. Uh-huh. They don't like the police, unlike us. Uh, led to a chaotic scene at about 8 p.m. in Fort Green Park uh, when the activists enraged 40 members, get this, Danny, uh, of the Hallowed Sons Motorcycle Club uh, by roasting the flag on a tiny barbecue grill so they basically brought out a little weber grill and And started burning the flag what (laughs) because they don't like the police don't scroll too fast any uh all right where do you want me to be uh whatever just kind of follow uh quote uh this is from one of the 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 bikers they took off like little beehives uh it's the b word but they call it it's the b word yeah said one biker they lit the Effing flag. I know what that is. <laughs> that, uh, flag and took off running once they got slapped once or twice. So basically, the- Danny, these bikers uh, saw these protests and said, screw you. We're going to beat the crap out of you. Because the bikers support the police. <laughs> Amazing. Uh, goes on. The anarchist uh, had announced on social media they planned to burn the flag in protest. Of NYPD policies, uh, blah blah blah, says while it's illegal to openly burn anything at Fort Green, it, it, not even just the flag, you can't even oh. like uh, cook a steak at Fort Green Park. Uh, the self-styled anarchists managed to find a loophole in the law that allows cooking in closed Bobby. Oh, okay, oh so, I, I see. I guess they, they That's actually, actually kind of smart. They weren't cooking burgers. That was pretty. They were smart. cooking uh, the flag. It's a loophole. You can use a grill, so they burned it with a grill. <laughs> uh, thus, they started to roast a flag. It didn't burn for long. Blah, blah, blah. The bikers then started trying to rough up the protesters who were quickly saved. Get this, folks. Protesters who were quickly saved by members of the same police force that they criticized. Oh, wow. What do you think of that, Danny? Uh, this part is... Uh, it goes on down here. Uh, no arrests were made in the scuffle. And the group's flag burning stunt went up in smoke. <laughs> Take it down there. Weenies. Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> That's a New York Post, so they they're a little different how they write. Weenies. But you guys are weenies. I, I I thought it was interesting. And here's the thing, Danny. The police, uh, they are sworn to protect. Right. So they take an oath. We're going to protect the public. So even if, you know, they don't like what you're doing, their job is to go out and just make sure you're safe. Dang. Right. God bless them. It's kind of like, um, you know, Danny, how doctors, they have to take an oath to help people. Yeah. Even if the the person's a bad person, like that's their oh, job. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I yeah, they take an oath. So, for example, give an example, Dan. Even if it's like some sort of serial killer? Yeah, that, with... I was going to give you that example. So, let's just say you, not uh-huh. you, Danny, but a guy, Me. a gal, 
Uh, let's say uh, you're an axe murderer. I killed someone. And you chop up a half a dozen people. And then I drop my axe and cut my no, leg off. Well, yeah, I was getting to that. And then you, you, you bury him in, in your backyard. And while doing that, you chop off your toe, let's just say. You call 911. You go to the hospital. What? Yeah. And you're the axe murderer. And you show up and say, hey, uh, you know, I'm an axe murderer. Just killed a few people. Uh, here's my toe. Yeah, in, a, in a baggie, uh, can you sew it back on? You know what the doctor has to do? Sew it back on. Sew it back on. Yeah, but I mean, they'll call the police and they'll he, they'll he, like, do all that. But in the meantime, the doctor's going to take care of you. They take him away after that. Wow. Uh, huh. I if I was a doctor poli- and that I was in that situation, I'd be really like reluctant, but I'd have to do it. Cause it's but my that's job. the oath they take. It's yeah. called the uh, Hi- Hippocratic oath or something. Look it up. Not now. But. The key is, it's not just that the police and the doctors, whoever, they have to do it. They take the oath. They want to do it. They and that's why I love the police, the firefighters, all because they want to help. There's a few bad apples. I get that. But by and large, they want to help. So, God bless them in, in, in New York City. They had to save the very people who were protesting them. Crazy stuff, huh, Danny? Weenies. Weenies. According to the New York Post. Got another article. Couldn't Danny. come up with anything better than weenies. Got another one for you. Okay. Shifting gear. Also so saw this on the Facebook. So uh you ever been to Florida, Danny? Yeah. And uh what are you yawning? You tired? No, yeah, maybe. I don't know. All right. Anyways, uh it's pretty warm in Florida, right? You go down there. Yeah, even this time of year. This is it's January, almost February, almost time for a big announcement. Uh, but it's it's pretty warm, right? Well, apparently uh, they have a, a a cold spell going on. They're not used to that in Florida. Mm. Freezing temperatures. And I saw this article. Where can you bring it up there, Danny? All right. Just just bring it up. Is it loading? Yeah. It's kind of a slow laptop. Oh, there it is. All right. Cool. Watch it. Cold weather. What? In Florida <laughs> brings chance of iguanas falling from the trees. Forecast is one. I, I have the article. I here. I remember learning about this like a lot, like a few years ago in school. Like apparently, the way rain well, works is that like even yeah. like frogs and fish can fall. Well, this is happening now. Dang. Or recently. So I have it. Uh, here's the article. It's from Fox News. So. Not fake news. This is real news. Fox News. Right, Danny? Oh, my gosh. Stop yawning. Okay. Uh, I got the article. Uh, it says, it's chilly with a chance. <laughs> I can't even read it. And this is real news. It's chilly with a chance of falling lizards. Poor lizards. Temperatures in South Florida dropped so low Wednesday. I think this was last Wednesday, maybe, whatever. Uh, that forecasters at the National Weather Service uh, in Miami warned residents to be to be on guard for falling iguanas. Are the iguanas like dying when they have no? The I'll get to that. That's a good question, Danny. But listen, uh, quote: This isn't something we usually forecast, but don't be surprised if you see iguanas falling from the trees tonight as lows drop into the 30s and 40s in Florida. That was from the National Weather Service. Oh, my gosh. You know what's crazy? Uh, outside right now in Fall River, it's like 40 degrees. Dude, like, and it's yeah, warm. Every day. Every day here, it's like it's yeah. like 30 degrees. It gets down to we 20, 30. We don't care. But in Florida, Florida I'm like, oh, my God. They're like, we're going to die. We have no iguanas here in New England. We don't have iguanas. Not that I know of. Uh, anyways, uh, the Sunshine State was seeing the coldest temperatures, uh, blah, blah, blah. Uh, quote, it's so cold what's in Florida. <laughs> so cold in Florida, they are seeing record temperatures. And you know they're afraid of the iguanas falling from the trees. Uh, Janice Dean, uh, she's on Fox News, the meteorologist. Uh, Quote, they don't... uh, Here it is, Danny. This is the quote from Janice Dean. Fox News meteorologist, so you know it's true. Um, Quote, they don't freeze, they being the iguanas. They don't die, all right? But they do kind of go into a state of hibernation. What? Like a bear, right? It's crazy. They just like... Fall from the tree and then go to sleep. Get this, Danny. Here's the best part. The low temperatures 
uh, uh, sorry, the low temperatures stun the invasive reptiles, but the iguanas won't necessarily die. That means many will wake up as temperatures rise. Wait, so on Wednesday, on Wednesday it's just going to be a bunch of iguanas walking around, so trying to get when it warms sleep. up. Can you imagine this, Danny? They just wake up and they're like, oh, "Okay." Scroll down there. You got any of your pictures? Uh, there's uh-huh. one. It's an iguana on the ground. There's another one. And he's, he, sleeping. he's basically sleeping. He's just chilling. Or she. We don't know. Or she. Yeah. All right, take it down, Danny. Take it down. Look at this one. Ooh, that's weird. Take it down. I want. No, I want to keep looking. Okay, that's the end take of the down. article. But can you imagine <laughs> you're down in Miami? And it warms up, and all of a sudden, these iguanas come back to life from sleeping. That's so weird. <laughs> I, I can't even believe what that's like. Crazy stuff. Florida, I'll tell you, Danny. Florida's uh, weird. That is a weird place. Florida's wacky doodle. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. We, Weenie Hut Jr. So, <laughs> the other thing, Danny. On this uh, story, which I wanted to bring up. So, there's apparently a, a law office in Florida. Can you find that one, Danny? Uh, it's a website. I sent you the link. Uh, it's one on Facebook. Uh, yeah, that yeah. one. Bring it up. So, there's this law office. You know how you see ads for law? Injured in an accident. You know, you, you break your neck. Did you stumble at your friend's house? Uh, call us. This guy. <laughs> look at it. Have you been hit by a frozen iguana falling from a Florida palm tree? Wait, they're uh, frozen when they fall? Well, yeah. When they fall, they're hot. So they hit you in the head. Nice. You may be entitled. Scroll through the uh, his little uh, uh, Facebook feed. Just kind of scroll. Not that. Danny, no. Oh, Go back. wait. Go back, Danny. Oh, like this? Anyway, uh, you can just see there <laughs> a bunch of people taking him up on his offer because they get hit by iguanas. Oh. All right, I take it down, Danny. Take it down. But isn't that crazy? The lawyers want to get in on it. Hey, did an iguana hit you? You trip over a a dead iguana? Well, not dead, but... This is weird. I, I, I can't make this stuff up, folks. Um... Truth is uh, stranger I than can. fiction, as they say. <laughs> All right. That's not true. By the way, uh, Danny. What? Last part of the show. Uh, speaking of iguanas and sleazy lawyers, I got to do it, Danny. I got to talk about. What are you going to talk about? This week in Trump. Why do we always have to get political? On the show. It's not political, Danny. I, I just have to cover what's happening. This is history. So, if you don't know, uh, the impeachment hearings of our president, Donald J. J. Trump, it began in the Donald Senate. Donald John. You know, his and, first uh, and middle name is, like, it's scary yeah. how it's, like, kind of, it's pretty similar to mine. Yeah, well. Donald John, Daniel John. I, okay, I think that's, uh, uh, you're getting off topic, Danny. Oh. Yeah, I kind of am. Anyway, they started the opening arguments, which basically is uh, kind of like in a trial where the the, the lawyers say, uh, okay, uh, he, here's what uh, we want to charge the guy with, and here's why. They've been doing that all week, and it's crazy. They go to late hours. I, the I heard they went for like 12 hours straight. Oh, it's crazy. Yeah. And here's the thing. They go to like 10, 1030 at night, and some of the senators oh, no. are they're falling asleep. <laughs> Wow, ten thirty. That's they're going so to the cafe late. at the Senate Whoa. building get a sandwich. That's way past my it's, bedtime. Yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> and here's what I don't get. So the senators, because the senators, they're all they're all lawyers. Get this, Danny. What? They're also the jurors in the trial, and a lot Wait, of those senators what? are running against Trump. In 2020, uh, like, like Warren and all them. So, to me, it's crazy. So, you have senators <laughs> who are going to be judging, basically, uh, Trump in this impeachment. Same ones who don't like him. It's kind of like if you get called to jury duty. Imagine this. 
You get the thing. And everyone hates jury duty. You don't know about this, Danny. You will. I didn't know what up. jury duty is. I asked my mother one. But you get called and let's just say the lawyer is interviewing you during the, the, the pool. And they say, hey, uh, this defendant here, uh, let's pretend it's the guy that cut off his toe, right? Okay. And uh, killed those people. And you say, hey, uh, what do you think of this guy? And you say, uh, guilty as charged. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to send that guy to the gas he, chamber. He, he did bad. And then the lawyer says, all right, you're good. You're good. Just come on in. Huh. You're approved. That's what it's like. Because you have those senators, uh, Warren, Wait. Bernie Sanders, uh, uh, I think Klobuchar, who are campaigning, yet they're... <laughs> I don't know how it works. And here's the other thing, is while they're campaigning, or sorry, while they're on the, uh, uh, the, the jury, as it were, they can't campaign. I it, don't it, understand any of I, this. My, my fans do, Danny. You're too young. But, uh, okay. you know, if you go to jury duty, uh, uh, you can't go to work. You get out of work. So these folks are stuck in the Senate, and they can't go to Iowa, wherever, to campaign. So folks like, uh, who's the other guy? Uh, I forget the names. Bloomberg. They're out uh, hitting the trail. And Warren Sanders like, ah. Whatever. Uh, the weirdest thing to me in all this, despite this crazy system. So Chief Justice of the Supreme Court, uh, John Roberts. He's the Chief Justice, Danny. You know, the Supreme Court. Yeah. There's nine of them. He's the head guy. He's overseeing this. Have you seen his hair? I don't even know who bring he up, is. Uh, bring up an image. Uh, I sent you a link. Uh, there it is. Oh. <laughs> Look at that. And I, I'm not going to make fun of the guy. He's I am. Obviously, Look at that. He's got It's links. a weird. I understand a bald spot. But he's got a whole sort he's of. Got, like the side thing going all around. Hatch and here. The, and then in the back, it's. It's like he has. It, uh, oh, it's yeah. gone. It's like he has like it going around like yeah. the side, and then he has the top is just empty, and then there's that, that random like oval in front of it, and it connects so weird. It's crazy. <laughs> it looks terrible. All right, take it down, Dan. Take it down. That's what I see when I'm watching uh, these, you know, these hearings. It's like, oh, but hold on. Sorry, folks. Hold on. Danny, guess what? Oh, is it is it Denise? It's Denise. Oh. That's a text from my ex-wife. Oh. See uh, what coffee really means. Uh, Mick, coffee means I need you to watch my cats over February school vacation. Ew, cats. Because Derek and I are taking the boys on a cruise. Oh. You owe me this. Is Derek... His her new husband or something. Oh. After all that, she needs me to take care of a stupid cats. You could just... Derek. No, Derek's not a husband. You know why? Why? If she got married. Uh, she doesn't get any more alimony from me, which means money I pay. You don't get it, Danny. The viewers know. <sighs> So, apparently that's going to be my February. You can, like, say no, right? It's for the kids, though. Uh, I don't know. I'll, I'll write it back after the show. God, I was all excited. Go to mcdonado.com. Yeah, to right. go you know what? Uh, that's a good point. Let, let's just wrap up the show. Wrap up the show. Uh, folks, uh, plugs on the screen. Check us out. mcdonado.com and all the places you can find us. Uh, and, of course... Uh, Next week, next episode, starting February, huge, huge announcement. We got a big fundraiser happening. It's going to be it's great. Be a- Lots of guests. Yeah. And I cannot wait, Danny. Uh, the week of February vacation, apparently, uh, you could uh, do without Apple Podcasts. <laughs> Apple Podcasts. Podbean. Are we still on Podbean? Oh, yeah. Podbean. Podbean. So, folks, uh, be watching the the Facebook uh, posts and all that. Wait for next week. Uh, and again, got to give thanks before we uh, wrap up here to all the emergency spots. Let me take this one, Danny, because uh, you haven't quite figured it out. Fire. 
fire, hazmat, hazmat law, law enforcement, enforcement, especially those at NYPD who are narcotics, you know, fighting those keep fetanyl crazy off protesters. Street. Narcotics, keep the fentanyl uh, off the street. The military, military is Army, Navy, Air Force, Coast Marines, uh, Marines, Coast Guard. Coast Guard's not part of the DOD unless it's time of war. Uh, NFL, Border Patrol, Border Patrol, build that wall. FBI, keep those CIA, illegals where NFL, they belong, and all the three letter NHL. agencies. NHL, NHL, <laughs> TBH, Danny. FYI. Any final thoughts on this show? I think those weenies should go over the weenie hunt, Junior. <laughs> I agree, uh, folks. Thanks so much for watching. Uh, watch for the post. Cannot wait for February to start. We'll see you next time. Take care. This has been the Mick Donato Show.